Hey guys, here is Michael Mark. So, bring you by the Jupal family of the poor and then from Cambodia. Here, get into the story. Her name is Wang Eng. She is 63 years old. And her husband is Sam Hood, is 61 years old. These are working hard for their life because they have no land, no any place they can live. But this place that they can be able to make their shelter here, it belongs to somebody else. They both got permission from the landlord that owned this land uh, to live in here, but this area you can see is the flood area. That's mostly video that I share to you guys and post on YouTube. If the poor people live in the flood area because nobody living there, that land is free. And the people who own that land, so they just uh, asking them and they get permission for them to build their shelter rights over there to live. It's a lot of videos just like that. It's not only uh, this one. So um, they make the living by picking whatever the plan in this area and they only can own like seven to eight thousand real. It four thousand reals it changed to be American dollar, it is one dollar. It they earn about one dollar seventy five cent and uh, really hard for their lives. And they had three daughters, but after the growing up, uh, you know, like I always share to you, and generation to generation, if they do not break in through the poverty of their living or their life, the history, from the history, and they will not break in through they will pass this poverty life generation to a generation, the next generation to the next generation. So let's get back. And they had three daughters, but after they got married, their generation still the same. The poor, they didn't have anything. And then they start their life poor like her parents start. And then one of her granddaughter and from her daughter cannot afford it. They just left behind for her to raise them. And then uh, they have a hard time to raise her granddaughter. They only have a chance to make their living for the while to go backyard and pick the water plant. And they only own, like I mentioned uh, before, only seven to eight thousand real. So the money is not enough. If American dollar is one seventy-five cent. And she asked for what and protect uh, to get and poor what and protect went there to get some interview from her life how poor she is and she told him everything about her difficult time after the Pot Pot regime she had no land and no anything so she just come to live here move place to place and ask people where they can stay but this like I talking about in the flood area she got uh, her home and grow her three cats over here and uh, the cat 
is only have the daughters, three of them. It, they all the same, you know, going the same track. It's not changing their life. And a lot of things like her husband had the mental problem too. Need the medical care because the mental sickness. Uh, he didn't know much about everything. So her husband, his name Sam Hood, and he is 61 years old and younger than her. And you can look at him; he's older than his age because he didn't have enough food, enough clothes, enough shelter, and clean water to use it. Everything is not healthy. We not they do not have everything like in the America, so we have USDA to inspect, but those food is a lot of chemical that they just have no chance they have to eat them. You have to using them like kind of water you can see here. It's a dirty water. That's why he got old. He lived by his wife, because his wife can uh, go to pick those and take those water grass, go to the local market, or she walk around the village to village, and only earn 7,000 to 8,000 real. In American dollar, just $1.75. They cannot survive it though. And I mean, they can survive, but it's not enough for their living. Just everything is not enough. Not enough food, not enough clothes, not enough shelter, not enough money to go see doctor, not enough to money to send her granddaughter to go to school. She have to stay with her. She is six years old. And then and I have no chance, no exit, no breaking through. But they have no hope, like living in the dark and not saying can see the sunlight. That's why Poor and Putak be there. Even myself too, I want to support them. I try to search for sponsor who have good heart and have generous heart and to helping them a few dollars or ten dollars a month, that would be fine to helping them out to break all the, the dark of the poverty of life, to get out of their dark and then go to see the blue sky, sunlight, beautiful beach that only you make their life different. It's so much suffer. I used to be there. I used to go through there. So I'm lucky, always mentions about I'm so lucky to get to the United States. It interviewed and took me there by UNHCR. I'm a refugee. It came from the community, live in the Thai border, but I'm so lucky. If I live there, I don't know what to do either like them, but I'm free here. I got more opportunity to look back and help them, you know. If I'm not, why why I forgot everything that I used to be there and I used to be have a bad life, a bad nightmare, a bad dream to living in the game. They gamble, you know. I just get in the strap and living in somebody game. That's all. That's why I will be do my best, trying hard to make this video, to let the world see, to let everybody see. Please, if you guys see this video, please share and to let them know. It probably get good people out there, got good heart to help them out. Yeah, Lester, yes, Lester Streeter. Mm -hmm. He's a nice guy, my friend, and he donate $20 to help Grandma Ngo, okay, here $20. I will send it, okay? Thank you, Lester. You're welcome, Michael. If you want to help them, okay, please leave the comment. We will start it from there. Just connect you guys directly to see them and to see Bhuvat and Putak that work at Cambodia. He travel across the country and to search for those people need help. He, he just get busy every day, but part of it, I live in the United States to help them out and to run everything for them and to help them out. Now this job is a long term and this job is working hard. I use all my time for this and put into it because I know, I feel 
what I felt before, what I used to go through before. So I still feel it right now, but I better help with them. So get back a little bit, and she talking if she have the bicycle, she can load all those water grass or whatever plant in that water, and go to hell by hell go to market after market. It's a flea market. It's not the standard market, and she can make a living. A little better and more easier for her body because she get old and she get sick too. It's not well because not good food, not good anything, not enough anything. See, but uh, later on, like some people will see this video and help her. I really appreciate for your help. She need one bicycle. One bicycle cost. About fifty dollars, sixty-five dollars. She's so happy. And this land, the owner will sell it. So she didn't know where to go yet. You can see her home. She don't look like the home. It's just some somehow they just build temporary shelter to live in the temporary and moving out. It hard for their life. You can see that. And now time for cooking. You can see they wash their vegetable. From that dirty water, you see in that big jar, the container to store the water, and this is how she cook. Okay, it's not really healthy food. It's not really healthy shelter to stay. You can see all the thin wall and thin roof. It's so hard, especially this widow. To tell you everything about the Cambodian life, that getting poor is hard to start their life. If you live in that condition, it hard in time like me before, and no way out. We should have a clean cloth, good food, healthy food, good place to live. In no way, we just eat what we can eat. Anything, it's not uh, disgusting. We want to survive because life, you know, life. We want to live. That's all. It's not eat to enjoy the food. It eat for survive. And we wear whatever the clothes are wearable. We don't care. We not have the kind of the standard of the style, a superstore, the fancy store like in America to go pick. Oh, I like this clothes. I like this clothes. I don't like it. I just donate it to you know somewhere good, well, something. But over there, poor people, they don't have that. Chan, they don't have that. What we, what we, they don't have what we have in here. We just take whatever they can take. Yeah. And it one more thing, like she have, okay, kind of the electrical line go there. It probably the owner connect to there because this home. Like the owners going there to rest some time, and then to look at their land, to take care of their land sometime. But that why she have electrical connect to her home, and you know how what food they eat and how they eat. It's so sad about to see this little girl, six years old, to live in this condition. Life is hard. 
it's not easy. Okay, that's all about their stories. Um, Mrs. Wayne and Mr. Hood story. And then, if you guys like it, share, please. If you would like to support, please subscribe and click notification bell to get new video upload every 6 p.m. at Central Time. And thank you for you like you and support. We we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for your watching. Bye bye now. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.